Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome to a new game. This is Steam Hammer. We're here with Shiva. Say hi. Hello. You can see his wonderful full faced beard, his scar face. Those where'd you get those neat little um goggles with like the monocle little in, lens? In here under what is it? Uh, that's, the alchemy section. Because that's pretty neat. You got your suspenders, you've got a show. So basically, uh this game is built on the Life is Feudal engine, if it looks familiar the or the old one. The old sure. engine. Um it is a basically it's life is feudal in the in a Victorian setting. There are some weird glitches and bugs, like if I move around Shiva then the lenses on his goggles don't quite line up anymore. It's weird. Mm -hmm. But uh it's in alpha and it actually just entered early access less than a few days ago. Yeah, so it's it's pretty fresh and uh, if you've played Life is Feudal, you probably know a bit about how it works. Mm -hmm. So Shiva's got a bit of a base here, and uh, and we're gonna go and uh, and look around, show you around, talk about it, so you can get a feeling for what kind of a game uh, Steam Hammer is, what it's going for, to see if maybe it's something that you're interested in. So off in the distance there, you can see an airship. This game actually has uh, airships that you can build. And you can pilot them, and they take multiple people to pilot them, right? Just like Guns of Icarus, uh, sort of. Take one person to pilot, but gunners, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure we need any people hmm. to gun them. Or not. That'll be interesting to find out. But you got these big airships. There's all kinds of stuff in this game, like jetpacks, all kinds of guns. I've actually got a gun right here. It's a pretty crappy gun. It's like the first gun you can get. It's neat, and. Uh, yeah, we're we're here doing stuff. So let's go over briefly, like what you would do when you first start this game. So if you start this game and you pick up just a new game, then you're gonna start with essentially nothing, except I think you start with some. You start with some clothes and a little uh, bit of food. The, basically, the tutorial book is you bring it up at the same time just with pressing. F1. I was never able to read the tutorial book, and that's that it matters. It's pretty. It's basically, just pressing F one via your inventory. Sure. So, this is a game about you know gathering resources. We've got a farm planted right here, for instance. You can see. Yes, but one of the main resources is hemp that you need to grow. There's a full terraforming system where you can raise and lower the ground. If you're familiar with uh, Life is Feudal, that'll, that'll be familiar. You can uh, dig tunnels. Let's run over here and show them the, the mine. Yes. Uh, I think these maps are not procedurally generated. No, this so map is uh, custom built. So you press M, you can show people where this fantastic I did. I've, source of copper and I've, iron is right I've here. pressed M, we've got the map showing. So this is what the world looks like. It'll look like this every time you start a game, so it's not going to be any different. This game is um, server-based, so you can join other people's games, servers and stuff. This is where Shiva is mining up his iron and copper. You've actually got like, a ton you've got like a tunnel down here, don't you? Yeah, I was trying to see if I can find... I was mostly doing it for rock. Boy, so you can dig these copper. neat little tunnels. Kind of lets me get in here. It's a little bit funny because the ceiling is so low. I actually had right. it where uh, it wouldn't let me in after a anymore. It was weird. So sometimes the tunnels screw up a little bit. But uh, it's pretty neat. It's a tile-based game. If you haven't played Life is Feudal, it's, it's the, the map is broken up into tiles. So you can individually manipulate a tile. Like I can go here and I can you prospect for stuff. Reserve. I can farm by gathering plants and stuff, search for alchemy ingredients, and then I can raise, lower, and flatten the ground on this particular tile. So right here, it looks like Shiva went ahead and raised the ground. Yeah, to so place, make it more obvious. To place it, these trees. The yeah. Pretty neat, so you can place your little also, grove. Also, I'm not sure about like fetal, but there's different types of dirt. Like, trees can only grow on forest soil. Oh, I didn't know that. What about fertile soil? Fertile soils for farming without with no need to plow the ground anymore. Cool, because I found some of that earlier. Mm -hmm. And soil and anything else you find is just, just filler. Cool. So, um, for people who want to know how to start, one of the good things you want to find first. You have to is, find it first. Yeah, the train that looks like this for scrap. And so this is kind of weird soil. thematically. Like, why are there just huge piles of scrap copper laying on the ground. 
I don't know, but basically the way I get, for what I found out is if you just pour copper ore on the ground, this is what it turns into. Really? Mm-hmm. That's really weird. But you'll and find... you can dig this up to get copper ore. You'll find yeah. these dotted around the map. They're these, like, uh, little brown splotches. Looks like a coffee stain on the map. These are the little copper veins. You can also see these, like, uh, light brownish, sort of slightly orangish ground. That's uh, clay. And then you've yeah, got your massive complete clay deposit over by the airship. Yep. There's then you've got this sand right next to the water. You've got this big snow tipped mountain. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And we're over here. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. So this is a game of you know gathering resources and stuff. But when you first yeah. start out, you're doing everything manually. However, once you have gathered the resources and acquired the tools in, to do so, you can start to build these buildings. So she has got a number of buildings set up. He's actually got some of these um, crafting machines that you're going to need. Yeah, and this is the tier 1 crafting, yeah, please. Yeah, the left. first one you get is this small smelter. Um, well, I mean, the first thing you get is a campfire. Is my campfire still over here, or does it disappear? They, just, they decay even though they're... So you place a campfire, and that lets you do basic stuff, but then you get this smelter. Um, one thing I do suggest, people who don't know this, you need the monument in order to deconstruct everything. Yeah, so Shiva's good. got this. If I if I if I kind of went, how come it's not turning blue? On, the moment that I want it to turn blue, it's not turning blue. So this blue area right here on the ground, the, this game has a guilds system because it's it's basically meant for PvP, you know. And you yeah. can place down these you, monuments. You can still play multi you, single player if you want. Wow, I think you need to turn off your in-game voice com because just then you came through all weird. Um, so Shiva went and placed down this monument, which actually uh, mm -hmm. claims a circular area of ground for him and his guild. And if you, when I walked into it before he uh, invited me into the guild, it actually told me that if I stayed there, I'd become an outlaw or something. Yeah, because there's because there's actually a criminal system. Basically. Yeah, so if you kill, if you're killing players, if you're knocking them out, if you're stealing their stuff, you can become a bandit. Or if you're trespassing a lot. Yeah, so then you you get bandit status, right? And it's like open PvP no, no, against what you. What happens is you get marked as a killer, and every, and basically that means marked as a criminal, and basically that means shoot on sight. Right. So if you're marked as a criminal, he will no longer trust you, and they might just kill you. So just shoot you on sight. Yeah. So Shiva's got you've got this poultry house here. Mm -hmm. He's built this little building. These buildings take a lot of wood. Yes, um, this one took like 10 or 20 wood and a bunch of copper nails. That's quest Yeah, and that's like a couple of trees. Um, once you've got this carpenter's bench, though, it gets uh, it gets easier, doesn't it? It, uh, it does, but some people, there's a pain in the forms. I'm not sure which is true yet, but you get more for hand sawing or you get more from the carpenter's bench. I was just say it's yeah. easier for carpenter's bench because you at least can tell how much the pro log is worth yep. and how long you can saw it. And then you can bake baskets to store stuff, and he's got this little hovel over here. And you can put baskets and stuff inside your houses, right? And you can actually, right like, now, only, the only thing you do is home build, chest. A, build a home chest. Into yeah, so they're going to add extra stuff that you can put inside, I guess. Like a mm -hmm. bed and stuff. You can craft a sleeping bag. Uh -huh. But these hovels here, allow you to set as your home. And then once you have a here, home... you see a building that's just waiting for materials and to be built. Yeah, she was trying to build a mansion. A small mansion. Which is kind of an oxymoron if you think about it. Because mansion is defined as... I don't know, it's a smaller mansion. I guess it, makes, it does make sense. It's just a little funny. If anything, when I look at it, it's more, it looks more like a townhouse. Now, if I had one thing that I wish the game had, it was build states be really sweet if there were build states but it just looks like yeah. this until you're done with it and then it instantly pops into a house which is fine yeah. I mean if it doesn't want to they don't want to go for that but it would be really sweet if there were build states it might be a limitation of the life is futile engine I have no idea I never played life uh -huh. is futile um, I liked the idea of the original game when they were talking about the MMO but once they started releasing like tons of versions of they the game are, life is futile is still playing for the MMO like I said yeah. they're just doing they're just now doing where they integrate to the same yeah game. I kind of lost interest for a while Anyway, so you've got this like smelter, and then it, it's similar to actually to the way that certain things work in Minecraft. You just put fuel in there, set the temperature, and then you have these. Um, one good thing is that all of the recipes in this game that you're able to craft, they show up right here in a, in a nice list under these uh, six categories here. So you don't have to, you know, figure out what you can craft. It'll tell you. And then if you hit show all, you can see everything, um, all the recipes for that, even the little ones that you can't actually make. Because this game, just like Life is Futile, is built on a 
What do I have to push to get those up? L? It's built on a skill yeah. system where uh, as you perform an action, you get better at it. So as I do metallurgy, I get better at it. As I do farming, I get better at it. And then everything that you can do in these categories is listed underneath the skill level that you need to be at in order to unlock it. Um, we've set the the uh, the skill cap. The game has a skill cap. It's based on what the server owner has set. So our skill cap is set at 3,000. So there's basically no yeah. skill cap. But if you're on a server and there's a low skill cap, you need to you're going to have to specialize yourself because you're not going to have enough points in order to unlock uh, everything. So you can tell the game to uh, allow a skill to increase or disallow a skill to increase. Um, yeah, I feel if we ever do something, it's better to have everyone doing some kind of jack of all trades. Wait, you can actually decrease it? You, what, the skill cap? Oh, you can set a skill so that if you reach your skill cap, it will be degraded. And ex um, that's actually, cool. Actually, no, no. Yeah, I just, I just told you what it says. No. Oh. There's well, two also settings. You can lock it so if you like have a. Yeah, you can lock it so it doesn't change, but then the down arrow me it says that if you hit the skill cap, it'll degrade that skill, which is kind of neat. It uh, means that you can't. Um, Ruin yourself. It gives you more finite, yeah, it gives you more finite control. It also means that later on in, in the game, you can alter your skill set um, mm -hmm. by de by building up other skills and degrading ones that you were previously using. So this game is called Steam Hammer, and right here we've got a small power hammer, which is pretty sweet. Um, and make something. Do you want to make? Yeah, look at that. That's kind of neat. I don't know about the sound effect. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, yes. I think it's the reason why, it, and also the hammer. You said you didn't like how it looked or something. No, no. no. Yeah, um, the way that I said was no. This this small power hammer is is fine. I just thought it was weird that you needed a small power hammer to make nails. Oh, I, I think it's because everything that you make off this is kind of like cold press. Yeah. Cold press. But it isn't that difficult to get these. Uh, it can be a little. You just got to make sure that you go to the right location because you need clay for this kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a mad. It, it might be a bit of a hike. There's good, good supply of clay over there. Yeah, I can see it over there. We're not going to hike over there. But uh, we've got these cool street lamps that do work. They're on all the time, but at night, these are very important because it gets pitch dark at night. Um, although, I do have a nice little headlamp that you can make. That they recently changed for you to spawn with now. Oh, you spawn with it now. Sweet. That is great because the torches are essentially useless because uh, picking one out makes it impossible to do anything because you're in combat mode. Um, mm -hmm. Unless they've changed that as well. Now this is what is now what we're about to walk into is basically considered a tier two of crafting because this is what the upgrade from those small things are. Yeah, so this is the first like big industry buildings. So the game is based around creating these large industries, and uh, so maybe you know it's based around um, partnering up with other players to basically form a, uh, an industrial town to where different players are specializing in different stuff and then everyone's benefiting from the work of everyone else. Which is pretty mm -hmm. sweet if you could yeah, get like, enough people together. Yeah, like you have like two, one or two guys building a massive farm. Yes. And, and solving all your food problems while another few guys are handling all the... Yep. And maybe maybe like one guy could be your basically your main blacksmith and everything indeed now Shiva has gonna he has enough skill to build this and he's got enough skill to use it I can't actually use the sawmill so do you wanna run the sawmill and show everyone how cool it is look at oh, that sound. yeah there's sound look at that animation a log goes through the saws cut it I really like this machine see this is what I was looking for in this with this game and it doesn't disappoint in this regard these uh, the machines animations are quite nice. I mean, uh, I one word. I forgot one thing about to say about building. You have to flatten the land. Yes, you do, and flattening land is a little annoying. But the game, yeah, you have you you have to flatten the ground to build the buildings, and then you can raise and lower it however you want. And you know, if you are into that sort of city planning and uh, landscaping, you could really go to town in this game and making your landscape look really nice. Or you can just. Have like, or you and your friends just take the time and flat out an entire yeah. massive area. You want to come up the elevator with me? Uh, Can we both fit I on it? I don't want to risk it. So too early. I'm going to come up the elevator. It's pretty cool, this elevator. It doesn't have a sound effect yet, and the gear doesn't turn, which is a bit disappointing, but I'm sure it will at some point. If the, you know, They're going to keep working Actually, on it. Actually, I feel this building is incomplete because there's plenty of room to put more things in here. Yeah, this building isn't finished. There's also stuff up, up, up here, but uh, there's room up here. Uh, so I guess this is probably the call switch for the elevator. Hey, pull I guess. The, bring the elevator down. Hang on. 
I want to toy with this elevator a little bit. Yeah. So I will say that I found the early, the extreme early game of this a little. Yeah, there we go. A little frustrating, just because you have to do everything manually, and it's a little annoying. Um, but once you get, you know, your your smelter and whatnot, it gets a lot better. Um, one thing I'll say: the devs have been on par doing a lot of quality of life things recently. For one thing, before every time when you need to craft something, you have to do it one at a time, press a button one at a time. Yes. Now there's actually a way where you can do like thirty at a time with just one click. That's very so nice. So the devs are paying attention to the yeah. forms. So the devs are working on this game. It is being actively developed. So it just entered early so access. So far over the past two weeks, I think there's been like four or five patches. Come to our side. We have gears. Yeah. So um, what I'll say about this game right now is that – oh, I'm stuck in the door. There we go. Um, what, do you, what do you think about the game? I think it's neat. I think that it definitely could use – it's gonna need you know some more work, but it's some in time. development. So, how long did it take you to flatten this land? It looks like you raised it. About about maybe uh, two or three hours. It's wow, just to raise the land. Yeah, and also to gather dirt and everything. That's commitment. Um, I wish there was a way to to change the color on the the ground here because it'd be really neat if that. If that dirt was still oh, there, is, I can pave it. See how to change the dirt over there. Yeah, you you paved it. Now, do you actually move quick around the pavement? I don't think so. It just yes, looks you nice. do. Oh, you do. Oh yeah, you do. Very neat. So you could have roads in your town, and really, just sweet. I I do uh, kind of want to spend the time to actually make like a a, a nice looking town, but that would take a age. Like that would take a long time. These. Uh, I'm learning to look into ways to like overcharge things. Yeah, this game. Careful. This game does demand quite a bit of your time, just so you know, unless you've partnered up with someone. So if you join a server, rather than make a single player, which is also on a server, um, and you find someone willing to partner up with you and not just kill you on site, although does this game have a problem with that? I have no idea. Probably not. Uh, it's, it's so new. There is an option on servers where there can be like a set time during the week where it's all it's free for all. That's interesting. Because the game does have a lot of combat in it, and there's two races right now. They haven't added women yet, but so there's all male characters. But there's technically two, two factions, um, and they're both different. They get different stuff. I like that. I like that the different factions actually have different equipment and different. Um, the second race, I think, is still uh, working. It, it, yeah, it is. I don't think there's a whole lot of content for them yet. The extra stuff. I I don't know if the Leviathan is actually in the game yet. Yeah. But that's their One thing. One thing I'll say about this game. Right now, for where it's at, I say it's like worth half the money. It's worth I think it's like thirty dollars right now. I don't know how much it is. Um, this game was I given to me by the, it got Steam up here right the here, developers. So. Did give me a code for this game, just so that everyone knows. I know some people like to know that uh, whether you got the code or whether you bought it. But uh, I did get the code I from the I devs. Got, I got it for free. I think it's because I put specifically in, in the betas and everything. Okay, cool. So, ooh, there's an orange tree um, here. Right now, the game is $30. So, I think for right now, the game is... $30, yeah, $30 is a bit much, I feel, for what the game has in it right now, unless you really value the ability to work together with other people in order to build, like, a town. Cause that, and also, it's early access. It is early access, yes. Early. So, um... May things you see here could change in, let's say, the next week. I'm hoping time. a lot of what we see here changes. Um... What? I do hope What's that this? they get to. I do not know. Nothing. Where did I plant my stuff in age ago? Oh, this is this is where you plant your stuff. It's probably this dead. Is. My stuff's probably dead. No, it's where you're standing right on top of it. I can't access it though. Like I can't do anything with it. Yeah, you can't do anything until it's harvestable. Okay, so yeah, um, I I quite like the game. Um, I like the concept more than I like the current state of the game. I like the um the plans for it. If you watch the trailer, you can see some truly awesome looking towns that you can build. So, Shiva, how long would you say was your time investment for getting everything that you've got here from from this time that you started in this world to right now? How long did that take you, do you think? Um, if I, when I restarted this world, it took me about 8 to 10 hours. 8 to 10 hours to get here? To get to the point where I had the poultry house, the hovel, the crafting benches, the farm... 
Not not where it's looking like where it's all raised like this, but at least set where it is. I mean every I mean everything. Where we are at the very moment. How long I'd did that take? About a couple days. Twenty hours in total. Okay, yeah. So that's how long it took Shiva to get to this point. So the game is definitely balanced around um not being solo. So if you enjoy a solo experience, this game is gonna be quite challenging for you. Especially if you're on a server that has a low skill cap, it's essentially gonna be impossible. For you to go solo, the game it definitely encourages teamwork. Ah! <laughs> Wait, it's just like a Tesla gun, isn't it? Yeah. It's, there's no animation for you shooting me. Your character goes into a neutral pose when you pull the trigger. And the hit marker is not actually accurate. It's showing me that I'm being hit from behind. So there is definitely work to do. Uh, and it's, it's being worked on. Shiva, let me shoot you. Hang on. So you did, I don't I don't think you did a ton of, you did like... Is this is a stun gun. You did like two health, oh wait. Oh, you weren't lowering my health, you were lowering that dark red meter behind my health. If that hits zero, do I pass out? You can knock people unconscious so. in this game. That's another cool thing, you don't just have to kill people. And this is a def this is a feature that I remember seeing in the original Life is Feudal stuff that I thought was really neat. That you could knock someone unconscious and take their stuff. So, what is that? The big test gun that oh. I can't kill. Shoot me with it. I don't have ammo for it. Oh, well, let me shoot you with this gun. I wonder if there's hit hitboxes. Do you think there are? Probably. Ow. How much damage does that do? About 10. No, oh, that's not as much as I thought. This gun isn't about all that great, though. Well, where'd you hit? I, you're, I, shot, I aimed for your head. Yeah, maybe the hitboxes aren't in yet. Yeah. I, it doesn't matter. With a game like this, you don't have to get those in just yet. So as you can see, Shiva's gun isn't really holstered properly. So it's definitely a work in progress early access game. So you might want to wait a little while until the game's further in development. Um, but this is what it looks like at the moment. And everything is fully functional. Like, you can build these buildings. You can, I don't know, I think, yeah, there's an airship over there. So I think you can make an airship at the moment. Yes, you can make the airship. Yeah. Uh, is airship the jetpack in? The jetpack is craftable. I assume it works. So there yes. is a de there is a good amount of content in this game. I um, believe they recently did some fixes with the um, jetpack fuel having issues yeah. with crafting. So there is a good a decent amount of content. Um, so you know if you wanted to tinker around with it, if you're playing solo and you want to experience every last bit of content, it's going to take you a long time. So you're going to be able to spend a lot of hours in this game. The question you're going to have to ask yourself is whether or not you're going to find all those hours of resource processing fun. Um, to be fair, the latest quality of life improvement it had in this counter where you can mass produce things has made it a lot easier. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, but you still have to stand at the machine and operate it. Like You can't put resources in it and walk so away. They do have it planned where they will be passive. That's cool. Uh, I assumed that maybe for the higher end machines you could set it and forget it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, see that lowered my maximum health by two. That's weird, I still hear the sound effect for firing it. So yeah, the game definitely has its rough edges, it's definitely got its bugs. Sound effect went away now. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that definitely hurts. <laughs> Stop it. So the hit markers... <laughs> the hit markers are a bit crazy because they just constantly overlay but yeah so there is a decent amount of content it'll be up to you whether you think it's worth it at this at the moment but you could easily spend over 20 hours on this game and not even get a quarter of the way through the content but that's yeah. all that's just if because of the trailers you see how in the end the guy they have like a massive town that's probably like yeah and those buildings weren't made out of wood be, either that's probably like maybe those buildings were made out of brick. Of hours put those, into that. Yeah, those were brick buildings. Those weren't these wooden ones. So there's a lot of cool stuff no, in this I game. I think more the walls because those are require a lot of clay, mortar, and iron. Let me go into the build menu and just show you guys some of the stuff that they, this game's got. So it's got. Pull out your hammer. I don't have to just to look at the build menu. It's got uh, crafting buildings. It's got the civil buildings, and it's got defense buildings. So under crafting, you've got your workbench, your workshop, a chem lab, a clothing factory whatever this engineering machine is, the engineering works, farms, great smelteries, steam forge. So there's like the lower version of something and then there's the big building version. And then you've got under civil, you've got your baskets and hobble, a mansion, you've got small mansion, which is what she was building. Yeah, it's like a townhouse. The big mansion looks enormous. 
under def there's not a whole lot under civil at the moment, but under defense, you've got all these different like bridges, different ramps at different inclines, uh, really cool bridge sections at different heights, stairs, corner sections, more ramps, uh, corner defense towers, defense towers, high air defense towers. There's a lot of uh, walls, walls with gates. So, and they're really cool looking too. There's a lot of stuff that you can build. Is there a creative mode in this game? Not yet that no. Yeah, so unfortunately I can't just like jump into a creative build and just build buildings and show you what they look like. But if you watch the trailer, you'll be able to see a big, a, a, a nice sized industrial town with walls and and uh, walkways. If we come, if I come back over to the the, the um, carpenter's shop, if you remember when I went up the elevator, there was that doorway at the second level, and that's the kind of place. That's the place where you would put the balconies and the walkways, the bridges. the bridges and walkways. So you can have second level walkways between your structures. Or have a link from the, your structure to the walls. Yeah, which is really, really cool. Um, so you could have, you know, little roads, like little lanes, like going between buildings with balconies, with uh, walkways going above. So you could make some really, really cool stuff in this game. And so that's what interests me a lot. What interests me a lot is the building. So I think that, that on that aspect, I'm very interested. The only problem is the amount of time you're going to have to spend get grinding for resources to get that if you're playing by yourself. So if you know, if you have some friends that have this game, then I think this is one game that's definitely better with other people. Um, so I would definitely encourage, I'm, I, I'm going to try and jump into a, uh, a server and see if I can't, uh, at well, some point, we are on. At I know, case. but I want to see if I can jump into a populated one and see if I can join anybody and maybe see if people will let me. Um... I would suggest you stay away until servers because they are currently having problems where they are keep cutting out every once okay. in a while. Okay, so there are issues, like we said. The game is in heavy development, which is good. Uh, it would be bad if this game hadn't received updates for a little while, but the game is being oh, interesting. Orange trees growing here. Yeah, it is. This game is being heavily updated. And so no, I. That's the thing. This there was never a tree here. Plant or never planted. Unless I think I planted that orange tree. Oh, okay. Just for fun. Um. So yeah, this yeah. that's that's so you, the. So along with farms, you do like create orchards of oranges. Yeah, that's the current state of Steam Hammer. It's very interesting, quite neat. And uh, if you like the Victorian setting as much as I do, then you'll definitely be interested in following the development of this game. I'm very interested. I'm going to keep following the development. I'm probably going to play it some more. Um. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and if you're interested in this game, link to the Steam page is in the description. And thanks to the devs for giving me a copy, and thanks to Shiva for uh, letting me pop into his world here. And yeah. uh, thank you so much for watching. So like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. Um, join the Discord that we have if you're interested. You can join our Steam group as well if you're interested in that. And uh, yeah, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.